Oh. Hey, hey, Bill Nye, the planetary guy here. This week, really exciting findings from the Kepler spacecraft. Well, not from the spacecraft. From scientists who've analyzed the data. Now, get this. There may be a 1 in 37 to 1 in 70 chance that a star out there has an Earth-like planet. Well, let's call it, let's call it 1 in 40. Okay, if there are 400 billion stars in our galaxy, heck, that's 10 billion Earth-like planets. 10 billion. I mean, this is the first estimate of the famous Drake equation, how many stars are there, how many planets, how many Earth-like planets, how many planets that that could have liquid water, how many planets that might have life, how many planets could have intelligent life. Well, this is the first such study based on actual facts. There could be as many as 10 billion Earth-like planets. This will take us so much closer to answering the question, are we alone? I mean, shooting from the hip, you got to say, probably not. Are we ever going to be able to communicate with those other life forms on those other Earth-like planets? Are they going to emerge at the same time we did? Or are they going to get through it and we're going to get through it at the same time and communicate? And then we'll know that we're not alone and then we're still in the middle of space nowhere. But we're so much closer to believing that life is likely. And this, I hope, changes your worldview. I hope it changes the way you view your place in space. It's based on data, you guys. I gotta fly, Bill Nye, the planetary guy. <laughs> <laughs>